Okay, in this question we have a population of people and there are two characteristics associated with each person. They are the person's sex, male or female, and the person's left-handedness or right-handedness. As such, we may be able to solve this question using the double matrix method. So let's reserve the top row for the females in the group and we'll reserve the bottom row for the males. Next, we'll reserve the left-hand column for the left-handed people, and we'll reserve the right-hand column for the right-handed people. Now, we're told that there are 1,000 people altogether, so let's add that information here. Okay, next we're told that 80% of the females are left-handed. Well, this box is reserved for left-handed females, so we know that 80% of all females are in this box. Now, since we do not know the number of females in the group, let's assign a variable to the number of females. Since these two boxes are reserved for females, let's say that the sum of these two boxes is equal to f. In other words, there are f females in the group. Now, if there are 1,000 people altogether and f of them are female, we can conclude that the total number of males in the group will equal 1,000 minus f. Okay, now we'll return to the females. There are F females altogether, and 80% of them are left-handed. So the number of females in this box will be 80% of F, which we can write as 0.8 times F. Now, if 80% of the females are left-handed, we know that the remaining 20% must be right-handed. So the number of females in this box will be 20% of F, which we can write as 0.2 times F. Next, we're told that 84% of the right-handed people are male. Well, these two boxes are reserved for right-handed people, but the problem is that we do not know the total number of right-handed people. So let's assign a variable to the number of right-handed people. Let's say that the total number of right-hand people is equal to R. Now, if there are 1,000 people altogether and R of them are right-handed, then the total number of left-handed people must be equal to 1,000 minus R. All right, let's return to the right-handed people. If there are R right-handed people, and 84% of them are male, then the number of right-handed males in this box will be equal to 84% of R, which we can write as 0.84 times R. Okay, here comes a very important part. From our diagram, we can see that the sum of these two boxes must equal R. So we can write the following equation. Now, if you're one of those people who likes their equations to have the variables on one side, we can rewrite this equation as follows. Okay, now the question asks us to find the total number of right-handed people. In other words, our goal is to find the value of r, so let's place a star here to remind us of this. All right, now that we've done most of the work, let's examine each statement. Statement 1 tells us that there are 600 males in the group. Well, if there are 1,000 people altogether and 600 of them are male, we can conclude that the remaining 400 people must be female. In other words, statement 1 tells us that f is equal to 400. Well, when we add this information to the equation we wrote earlier, we can see that we could solve this system for r to find the total number of right-handed people in the group. As such, statement 1 is sufficient. All right, next, statement two tells us that there are 180 left-handed males in the group. Since this box is reserved for left-handed males, we know that there are 180 people in this box. Now, since the sum of these two boxes must equal 1,000 minus F, we can write the following equation. Now, if we rewrite this equation in the same form as the first equation, we can see that we have another system of equations that we could solve for R. As such, statement 2 is sufficient, and the answer here is D.